Hi guys, welcome. Hope you are doing well. Today I have a mango haul. So a few days back, I went ahead and placed a big order from Mango and I have to say that the shipping was really, really fast. So I'm very impressed with the shipping. And uh, this box, it arrived yesterday, late evening. So here I am today, very prompt and try to fill as quickly as possible so all of these pieces you know they are classic pieces and i do own some of the other version of this already in my closet but as with change in time and also with change in season i wanted to refresh my wardrobe with the pieces which are more current in terms of the fit, the cut, the silhouette. So as we try on, or as I try on all of these pieces, you are going to see that nothing is trendy or anything. Everything is very classic, but with a more updated uh, fit, at least that's what I'm targeting for from this haul. And as I do the try on, we are going to decide if this is a piece that, you know, works for my my frame. And also not all trend lit pieces are the pieces that will work for every body type. So that is something that we are going to decide as I do the try on. And uh, I'm going to leave the description for each of the pieces in my description box. So if you come across a piece that you really like you can shop directly from the link okay so let's jump into the haul all right so let's start with this blazer now there is no particular reason as to why i'm starting with this besides the point that i really was wanting to add another black blazer to my collection and this time i was looking for a more sort of oversized kind of a look so usually i am a size small when it comes to uh mango blazers but i went ahead and ordered a size medium thinking that uh, it would serve the purpose of being a little bit more oversized a little bit more loose and uh, i think it's giving me all of those vibes except do you think this is a little bit too long on me? Because, I don't know, it's no longer looking like a blazer, it's more so looking like a coat. And you guys can tell me if this is a little bit too long. And you know, it's straight off, out of the box, so it does have some creasing, it requires steaming, so we are going to ignore that part for all of the, all of the, uh, items but besides that what do you guys think this is this is typically how it's going to look on me so that's that's you know let me give you a 360 degree <laughs> so that's the blazer and also material wise I think it's very very thin uh, so it will be good for the spring and summer months if you go to an office kind of an environment to where you have to throw in a blazer so yeah that's that's the first blazer all right so we again have another blazer and this time it's in this beautiful hound's tooth print now even though i placed you know it's the exact same size as the previous one based on the cut even though it's in medium it fits me much better than the previous one what do you guys think the length is also good uh this is how it looks from the back and yeah and uh, i got it from the same section so yeah i think the price is also great it looks good as far as the material I didn't pay full price for this one. Uh, it does not have that weight to it. But uh, you know, if you're just going for the look, I think this is a, this is a great one. And also keep in mind that I am prepping for spring, summer. This is mostly for spring. In summer, you will not be able to wear it. But yeah, I think it looks very cute. Uh, this is how it looks from the back. Uh, this is how it looks full length. <laughs> uh, the sleeves are a tad bit long, but you know, you can always pull up the sleeves and it just gives that look. 
Next, we have both these pieces from this haul. So for the previous two looks, you probably already spotted this tank top. Now, this one I ordered, even though I have like many bodysuits from Aritzia and I really, really love them. But sometimes, you know, you don't want to wear a bodysuit and you just want to wear a tank top. And I have been seeing this uh, Loewe's tank top, but I just don't know if I am ready to spend so much on a tank top. So I just went ahead and ordered this one. The material of this one is really, really thin. So if you are looking for something more substantial, I would not keep this. And as for me, uh, I am on the fence if I really want to keep it, if I really like it, but I'm just wearing it so that you can see all of the outfits and how they kind of come together uh yeah like i said i mean it fits well and i think i got it in a size small but uh, as far as the material i think it's a little bit on the thinner side okay now let's take a look at these plazo pants i mean they are beautiful as far as the fit and i have been wanting to add one puzzle pant to my collection something that's wide but sort of fitted on the top and this one i think it does the job even though it's a little bit on the lighter side the material is really flowy but it is unlined i think it is unlined let's take a look uh yeah it is unlined uh and it's a little bit on the thinner side but uh, as we kind of enter into spring and summer that is what you would want but in general it kind of flows beautifully uh again i'm petite so i will have to alter the length uh if i want to keep it but in overall i think it looks really really nice next up we have this trench coat now i do have two trench coats from Burberry but they are more sort of fitted style and more the classic silhouette but you know these days the oversized super loose uh, fit is trending so I wanted to try it but then of course I don't want to go the Burberry route so I went ahead and ordered this one <laughs> uh, I think I got it in a size extra small and uh, in general the fit is supposed to be oversized it's pretty long and of course it is oversized even though it's an extra small so this is how it uh, looks on me when i don't have it uh, tied here what i loved most about this is the big lapels that it has i think it gives a very nice men's wear look but when it comes to the sleeves, I think I would have liked if it would have had this, I don't even know what it is called, but typically um, all the trench coats, you know, the classic ones that they have this tight thing over here. So it kind of gives more, I don't know, more chic, more stylish look to the trench. And uh, yeah, even though I like it, I don't know how the oversized thing looks on me and uh, of course i know that not every trend is for everyone but you know you gotta try <laughs> and then come to the conclusion if this is something that you want to keep not keep this is a trend that you want to go with or you know just admire from the far so this is the trench coat i think i like it and uh, for the price, I think the material is nice. Now, I haven't done any water test on it, no, but how does it look if I singe it up and just tie it here and then wear it? What do you guys think? You think it looks good on me? Is this a piece that I should be keeping? Let me know. All right, so next we have another pant and this one is quite different from the one that I had shown previously. So that one was a plazo fit and this one is a pleated, uh, not exactly wide leg, but it's kind of wide leg, but it sort of tapers a little bit towards the end. I don't know, whatever. This is a sort of a men's look 
pans or pleated pans or whatever. I don't remember the name. I'm going to put it in the description box. I got it in the size 36. It's the exact same size that I got for the Plaza pants, but uh, can you see how much room is there for this one? So this probably I should have gone down one size and have gotten size 34, but uh, I don't have uh, size 34 to try on. So this is what we are going to try. But as far as the look, what do you guys think? Like this is a <laughs> men's inspired pants look, the pleated pants. You know, if you are someone who is on the taller size, five, 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 six, and above, I think these kind of pants are going to look really, really nice. But on us, the more petite people, we have to pick and choose and see what kind of silhouettes sort of work on us. So even though this is very trending and looks really, really nice, if you are petite and on the curvy side maybe this is not a trend for us and what is this on the back okay so this is how it looks from the back so this is how it looks from the back and uh, yeah so that is the that is the that is the pants and for reference i am five two all right so next we have another pants but these ones are more fun more playful i don't know how to explain it but i have been looking at this silk band uh, trend everywhere and of course these are not silk they are made of satin but you are still getting the same look without breaking the band you know and the print on this one is very fresh it's this geometric print which i really like there was a pan that i actually spotted at uh, one of the h&ms and uh, they didn't have my size and i thought or i kept praying that they would bring it out in uh, in a different size but uh, not in a different size but they would you know restock those sizes but it just never happened and i just don't have it with me so anyways i got these ones thinking they would serve the same purpose or you know i would get the same look that i was thinking to get from those ones now i love the material even though it's uh, you know uh, not silk it feels like silk it's uh, it's uh, the design is nice of course it's a super long on me which which is with all the pants that i get from doesn't matter which place so uh everything requires that extra bit of tailoring now one thing though this is ultra super high which I don't know if I like it to be like super duper high. It does come with its own belt. I mean, that's a small problem. You don't have to wear this belt. You can just swap it out with anything, um, something else that you like. But other than that, I think it's nice. And the material is very, very thin. Uh, and of course, the flow is something that would be comfortable during the spring, summer months. So if I were to keep this, I will have to alter it and I have to take into consideration the extra cost that I have to bear uh, on top of the price of this pad. So is it worth spending that extra $20, $25? Because I think this pad uh, was $80, $79 or something around that mark and extra $20, is it worth, not worth, something that is for us to decide. Next, I have uh, two skirts that I ordered, but I also wanna show you this sling back kind of a mule, super sparkly shoe that I ordered. So, you know, this is giving me those knife, uh shoes from balenciaga i mean i don't have those uh but this one so so cute you see those sparkles oh my god and the heel on this one is not at all high my, i mean it's just a tiny bit of a heel so this is what i'm going to try on with because i am in love with uh, these 
sparkly shoes and also uh, I mean the foot bed of these shoes are so so cushiony I have never tried any shoe from mango before so I'm really I'm really pleasantly surprised like how good of a quality it is so this is okay I don't know if you guys can see but these shoes are chef's kiss all right moving on to the skirt so i ordered like i said two skirts uh both in the satin material so i do have a few silk dresses but i don't really own any silk skirt which is kind of i know <laughs> uh, but i wanted to uh get something and see how i like it this one has a good weight to it and I love that it has a good weight so when you're going out and if it's super windy it's not going to just fly you know uh, and then one thing about this skirt is the length so even though it has a good weight this is a little bit too long don't you think so I mean for me, I would have liked the length to hit me somewhere here at the ankle. That's when I think the silk skirts, they look the best. When they hit you right here, like a slightly above the ankle. So that is the only thing about this skirt. Other than that, I really love the material and the price was also good. This was around $79. $80 so on the same mark as the previous pants that I showed um, and yeah to the touch it's really really soft only thing is the length okay so let me try on the other skirt and then we'll make a decision as to which one I prefer okay so this skirt right off the bat I can tell that uh, this is perfect I mean the length is perfect the material is just as soft and just as silky even though it is not silk it is satin now the only difference between these two skirts is uh, this one has it's not as weighty as the previous one so maybe that is I don't know I have to check the material but as far as like the feel just based on my touch both are like nice and soft that one definitely had more weight to it this one is a little bit on the lighter side and uh, but it is not super light that it's going to fly off uh, but yeah I love the length and uh, I love the fact that I do not have to spend extra on tailoring it because uh, you know without the right fit nothing looks good no matter how expensive how cheap of an item that is so it has to fit you right otherwise it's worthless but uh, yeah i love this skirt i love how it's uh, how it hugs my body and also the length and uh, guys i'm still in love with the shoes so so sparkly and so comfortable my god why didn't i ever try shoes from mango before all right all right guys so the last item from this haul is this denim shirt so i have been ordering a bunch of different denim shirts from different places <laughs> and also when i go out and about shopping i have been trying them out but nothing seems to be working for me now as for this one i think the size is fine i think i i ordered the size small and it fits me fine i could have ordered a size medium that is i could have doubled it as like a sort of a jacket or shacket style uh but i don't know i mean i i don't think i think i don't like the shade in this particular shirt but you guys let me know i mean you know does it look good does it maybe i should change it i don't know <laughs> i'm so confused anyways uh you know i love the double denim look which is why i am hunting for this denim shirt but at this pace i think i just have to stick to the denim jacket i don't know anyways this is how it looks on me and uh i don't know if i'm gonna keep it <laughs> 
all right guys so i think this is where i'm going to end the video and uh, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite item from this haul if there was really anything that caught your eye or caught your attention if or you know if you don't like anything that's perfectly fine too but leave your comments because i love to interact with you guys and as for me if i had to pick uh the shoes definitely they are so sparkly so comfortable i absolutely love them and the second piece would be the skirt the the one that hits me at the right spot so that one and the plazo pants so these would be my pick and these are the ones that i'm going to keep and the rest probably they are going to go back all right guys thank you so much for tuning in and as always i love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye now